Hello friends, welcome to this Java programming tutorial series. I am Dinesh Uriani, owner of Java blog by the name Learn Java by Examples. You can visit to this blog at the following link at www.habarspot.com. Do visit to this blog if you want to learn this great programming language. And today I will be continuing to teach you Java programming language. So let's get started. Hello friends, welcome to my Java programming tutorial series. Today we will discuss how to download and install Java JDK and Eclipse IDE. So let's move ahead to our web browser to download Java JDK and Eclipse IDE. So in the Google search bar type Java 7 download and you will see the link Java SE downloads just go for this link so here it takes you to oracle.com and you will find java se downloads we will click on java platform jdk 7.25 version we will click it and it takes us to the java se development kit 7 download page so here if you move down you will see in order to download this you have to first accept the oracle binary code license agreement so we will click on accept license and below you will find the exe file for the java jdk 7 for the various operating systems since i am using windows xp i would download windows x86 see here pop up comes out for the exe to download just click on save file uh, as i am not going to download it because i already downloaded it let's go and install java jdk now so friends here is the jdk 7 exe file which we have downloaded from the oracle.com in order to install the jdk7 we just double click over this exe file it opens the installation wizard just click on next and it opens a window by the custom setup here it asks us to select the program features which we want to install and it shows the installed path like c program files java jdk 1.7.0 so it will install the jdk over this path and this is a very important path you can also change it but we just keep it this only and we do next when we do next a progress window opens which installs java ac development kit 7 so now a window by the name destination folder gets open which tells us there is a path like c program for java jre 7 which is the path where java runtime environment gets installed so we can even change that but we will keep it as it is and we click on next and as soon as we click next it will it will start installing the JRE runtime environment on your PC so finally a window gets open which tells us that Java SE development Kit 7 is successfully installed you can either register this information or you just click finish now just do windows R and type CMD and just type over a command java c and press enter you will see a message displaying java c is not recognized as an internal or external command so in order to complete the installation of jdk7 we need to set the path for java so let's set the path for java we go to my computers right click go to properties and in properties we go to advanced in advanced we go to environment variables and here in environment variables you can see user variables for dv and system variables so we just browse and we see there is one variable by the name path we select it we do edit and it shows, shows the variable name as path and variable value uh, which is already set here we have to set the path for jdk 7 bin so what where is the path of jdk 7 bin it's go to my computers go to c program files java jdk 1 1.7 bin and copy just copy this path and come back and place it over here so we put end it with a semicolon and we do ok and also ok and ok so it it sets the path for our jdk 
bin directory so now we do again do windows r we type cmd we do ok and in the window if we now we type java c it gives us valuable information so if we scroll down and if we type java dash version and press enter it will tell us that java version 1.7.0 slash ea has been installed on your pc successfully so friends this was the way to install jdk 7 to your pc so friends let's move ahead and download eclipse in the google search bar type eclipse download there would be one link by the www.eclipse.org download just click over that link it will take us to the eclipse download page and here you will find many other softwares which are related to eclipse so just go and download the eclipse id for java ee developers and just click over a pop up gets open and it asks us to save the file i am not going to save the file because i already saved it so let's move ahead and install it since it's a zip file we will extract it into a separate folder here and when we open this folder there is one folder eclipse we just open it and there is one an icon for eclipse we just double click it so friends now it asks us for a workspace so here you will get a default path as as it's shown in my pc as c documents and settings dv workspace so i just go and change it to it comes out as e java 7 and add the ok so this is the eclipse welcome screen here it shows that eclipse java E ID for web developers. It has overview tutorials, samples, what's new. So we'll just go over the workbench. So this is the Eclipse main main workbench where all the coding is done. So friends, in this tutorial we saw how to download Java JDK 7 and Eclipse Kepler ID, and we saw how to install them so friends if you like this video then please like us on facebook and youtube share this video on facebook with your friends and if you have any comments to share then share it below you can also subscribe my video on youtube and you can also visit my blog at www.hubberspot.com for more java tutorials and source code Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.